first update on Invest 93A, which is on its way to developing into the next tropical cyclone that we'll be tracking around the world. It's located in the Arabian Sea off the coast of India with winds at the moment only 20 miles an hour, but that will soon increase. On the CDPS scale, we're looking towards its potential destruction um, over the next few days as it makes landfall, if it does, on the continent. It has the potential to make landfall as a stage 3, which would be significant. Hasten to add, it isn't at that stage at the minute. We're forecasting on that. We're projecting. Uh, it's currently at 10.6 north, 72.3 degrees east, um, as of 5.30 a.m. Indian time this June the 9th. Still a tropical disturbance at this time, uh, maybe a little while before it becomes a cyclone. It's only 20 miles from the island of Agati, 2.25 from Kanur, 2.35 from Mangaluru, 5.83 from Mumbai and 10.39 from Karachi in Pakistan. Uh, so looking at the yellow area there, tropical storm conditions are possible in those areas, coastal regions of western India in the next 48 hours. Not to say that all of those regions will experience those conditions, but it is a possibility if it gets its act together very quickly, which is possible. Here's a look at the models then, the GFS, uh, which is what we take on our graphics here. Um, taking it, well, you can see it beginning to develop huge amounts of rain associated with it on southern parts of India there. The cyclone itself is probably not going to deliver huge amounts of rain, at least to begin with. We'll continue to watch that situation as it stays off the coast. Of course, it's only just off the coast there as it moves up towards the northwest. Um, and that could possibly veer into land somewhere along there. But at the minute, the uh, GFS is taking the storm out towards, um, sort of towards the Arabian Peninsula, but doesn't end up getting there, turns around and eventually hits Pakistan in the end. That's long range model runs though. Uh, sea surface temperatures are certainly very warm for developing cyclone, 29 degrees Celsius, that won't stop any development of this system as when it gets going into this week. So looking at the winds now, uh, you'll be looking out for those green colours which start to develop eventually when we're looking Tuesday into Wednesday here, you can see really those storm force winds getting going there, and when you start to see those yellows, that's hurricane force winds, category 1, um, and GFS pretty much saying that it will be um, anywhere between a Category 1 to a Category 3 um, as it skirts up the western coast of India. Um, again, taking it out towards the ocean there still might not happen. It might go straight into land eventually when it does get up there. That's still quite a few days away, the end of this week. So, chance of tropical storm force winds in those locations we identified earlier. This is in the next five days. Chance is pretty low in Mumbai and Karachi, for instance. Those chances are likely to increase when this thing gets going. Wind shear over the system is going to be pretty low, less than five knots just north of where this system is located. Um, high wind shear to the south though. And looking at the general water vapor imagery, I must say there isn't a huge amount of convection associated with this system. It's still looking very much monsoonal, um, but when it does develop, we might start to see uh, some more blowing up of convection. It is notorious in this basin that convection blows up quite a lot. Here's another look at the satellite imagery animated this time and you can just about see where the center of this system might be aligning itself very close to those northern islands there, those Indian islands just north of the Maldives um, and again you can see quite a lot of the convection is located over water very little of it is actually over land right now um, so only a little bit of rainfall along the west southwestern tip there of India and on the water vapor imagery, it is in a very moist environment, dry conditions well towards the north, but it won't be dealing with that anytime soon. We'll be watching this closely. We advise you do too. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description. <laughs>